All right, everyone. Chris Jones is back. And today we're on Black Ops Cold War. Today marks my very first day. Well, this video, of course, is today. The gameplay was yesterday. This is my first time coming out in Black Ops, man. And, uh, well, you know, it, it's, it's, it's an adjustment period right now. I'm sure for some of you out there, this game is more natural for you. Uh, others, you have passed the adjustment period because you've been playing on it for about a week now. And then you have others who have decided that <laughs> this game is garbage. <laughs> and they're going back to Modern Warfare. Me? You're asking. Um, I wouldn't say I'm on that level of of it, but uh, I I've watched some YouTubers, and some YouTubers have stated, you know, that sometimes you you I'll appreciate Call of Duty more, Modern Warfare more once I start playing this, and very early on during my tenure here playing this game, I realized that this game is going to benefit the speedsters. This game is going to benefit the speedsters a lot. You know, uh, whether you're Bobby, Johnny, Sylvester, or whatever, or whatever your name is, Booby, Tubi, running, Sliding, jumping, sensitivity on 10, 15, 20, whatever. This game is going to suit you more than it's going to suit an old man's game style like mine. Uh, where, you know, I try to use common knowledge. You know, I, I try to use common knowledge. I try to sit, not sit, but methodically move you know, move with thought instead of just blind moving and reacting. And unfortunately, I get waxed. I get waxed by uh, little Billy here who runs, slides down, jumps, 360s me, and melts me with the MP5. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, the game, I tried to disable crossplay, but I feel like this year, they're going to make it twice as hard to not play without crossplay on. You see, because in Modern Warfare, it would take you no time to find a game. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm on next gen and it's a lot of people don't have the Xbox Series X or S, so it takes longer or does old gen one and ps4 users are they included in the cross gen for next gen the cross play for next gen these are questions that i don't know the answers to so i had to turn on cross play in order to get a game because i was literally sitting here for a long time waiting for a game uh but This is the adjustment period for me right now, man. I, the maps are different. And then one of the things that actually caught me was the beta. Uh, while I was playing the beta, it seemed like there was no gun difference, you know? And I made a video about that, that the guns don't seem like every gun seems to shoot the same. Uh, well, I was mistaken. Highly mistaken, uh, because uh, by the time that I started to play, uh, the gun that I was using, uh, once I got past these default classes that have attachments on them, uh, when I went to regular guns, oh, they move. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They move quite crazy. Uh, this year in COD, I, I'm, content wise, uh, I'm trying to 
I'm done with the best class setup videos, you know. Uh, yeah, those get views and clicks and all of that good stuff, but uh, I don't really have the knowledge on this game or knowledge on Call of Duty to really do the science behind finding the best attachment for the game. So I think I'll just show you uh, more of my camo progress. I think this would be a year that I focus on camos and just, you know, upload crazy games. Uh, I have to get into a habit of always recording while playing this game. And if you just noticed in this game, I'm punching a lot. I'm punching a lot because uh, I'm not on tactical. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I play on tactical. And you would think, oh, Chris, you play on tactical. You must drop shot a lot. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Now, the reason why I play on tactical is, of course, back in my heyday in Call of Duty in MW2 and MW3 and places like that, I was drop shotting. I was drop shotting a lot. Uh, it was just more of a natural feel for me. But then around Black Ops 2, I kind of like took a hiatus from Call of Duty for about a year and a half or so, maybe two. And by the time I came back, all the skill and everything I possessed back then was gone. It was gone. So then when I started playing Ghost, my whole game changed. Like I, I, I didn't have the speed. I couldn't play on a higher difficulty. I mean, a higher sensitivity. It's been really bad. And for all these years after, I've kind of sat in the same boat kind of sat in the same boat um so but this year like for instance i play on four sensitivity i know laugh chuckle 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 yes 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 get it out your system i play on four sensitivity this year i had to move up to five four up is too slow so given that i play on four sensitivity you thinking man you must snipe or you must use lmgs or use range guns i should i should but i don't <laughs> i don't I, i'm an objective player who plays on the sensitivity of someone who should not play the objective i'm an objective player who uses weapons that someone of that sensitivity level should be using one to two weapons either lmgs or snipers you wonder why I get clapped a lot in games? It's because I'm be running and gunning with a forward sensitivity. How does that work? I don't know. That's why my KD sucks. I can't seem to get into my head to do one thing over the other. Um, but <sighs> this map right here kind of reminds me of that. Uh, what do you call that map? Um, uh. The tank factory map from 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 modern warfare this this kind of has that same vibe to it uh but and then another thing i noticed is the score streaks what exactly are they are they support streaks slash score streaks or are they score streaks because i was playing a, a game off recording and i got an attack chopper but it wasn't like seven eight kills in a row or whatever it was like kills over the span of the game that gave me an attack chopper now if that is the truth i don't know if i'm gonna like that very much because then you have non-skilled people like myself getting score streaks who really don't deserve them i've been getting smacked all game but i got a score streak because of the way that your score streak system is set up um but I can't really give a, a full review of it because I this is, you know, yesterday was my first day playing and I'm level 10 right now, I'm level 10. So it's it's different. And 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 another thing I, I realized is that gun progress goes extremely slow, like leveling up gun wise and level wise is extremely slow and is a very aggravating because when you don't have on ghost every time you don't have on ghost all you hear is hostile spy plane hostile spy plane hostile spy plane enemy spy plane enemy spy plane and then when you're running 
Little Johnny is sitting in the corner waiting for you to walk in there because you don't see your red dot from the moment that the spy plane has been called. It's very annoying. And all I want to do is get the level to get Ghost, but guess what? Ghost ain't till like level 17 or something. And I've missed the double XP. So, I've been in pain for a day, but I will get better. Hopefully, I'll get better if I continue to play, continue to learn the maps. Maybe I'll get a little bit better. Right now, I'm at a disadvantage because everybody has attachments on their guns, and I don't. So, that will wrap up the conclusion to the first video of the COD Black Ops series, official game. And in my first game, I went 11 in, what is that, 13? Yeah. I'm signing out.